Welcome back to the Fanboy Cantina. This is our review of The Creator by director and creator Gareth Edwards. We're going to try to be as spoiler light as possible. The Creator is a sci-fi epic adventure depicting the future war between humans and AI, where a former soldier must hunt down AI's leader and its new weapon in the body of a child. Overall, I really enjoy this movie for its captivating visuals and John David Washington, and it would have been among my favorite movies of the year if not for the final act. In an era where you know a trip to the theater seems to be inundated with franchises or sequels, it's great to see an original sci-fi property, though this movie definitely takes inspiration from a spectrum of movies before it. In a letterbox video, Gareth Edwards cites several of these movies like uh, Blade Runner and Akira, and you can absolutely see those influences in the story and visuals. Now about those visuals, much has been made about the creator for its stunning look and visual effects, yet it's comparatively low budget. For $80 million, the creator is more stunning and more impactful than so many other franchise temple films with multiples of this movie's budget. John David Washington as Joshua continues to grow as a leading man and for me, drew me in, even when the writing is patchy at times, and we'll get into that. Madeline Una Voiles is remarkable as Alfie, the child weapon representing the heart and, not ironically, humanity of this film. Allison Janey is fantastic in her role as Colonel Howell, and it's great to see her in a role like this. There's an interesting spiritual or godlike nature applied to this movie, which is a familiar theme in this genre, and some of which is very on the nose here. There are temples and monks in Thailand which look beautiful in this movie. Alfie gets her name when Joshua sees Alpha Omega on her side, an obvious reference to Jesus. Ken Watanabe's Harun is a name which I understand translates to exalted in, I think, Arabic. And Veronica No's character is named Kami, which is the word for God in Japanese. I really enjoyed this movie all the way up until the final act. Across the film, you know, the pacing can be slow at times, but you can pick up on points where there's a scene missing or a rewrite that was done to accelerate the pace. Certain characters are introduced and interesting, but don't get enough time to be developed. And this is most glaringly with the Maya character played by Gemma Chan, where for all of the flashbacks that happen, they could have been used to give her more story. But for all of these story faults, nothing is worse than the f entire final act. You know, it's a sci-fi movie, which is science fiction, so there's likely to be some suspension of disbelief. But when it crosses a line, it risks losing its audience. And if you've seen the creator, you probably know the point that I'm referring to, but your breaking point might have been earlier or later. There's clearly a point in the final act where there is a story missing or a dramatic rewrite, where a general gets into a whole bunch of narrative that feels off compared to the scene right before it. And from this point on, you know, it was entertaining, but the entire time I was slumping in my seat wondering, why does that happen? Isn't that convenient? Oh, that's really convenient. Wait, that can do what then why? And, you know, none of it was plausible, pushing beyond the limits of that suspension of disbelief. And it's really a shame because... All the way up until that final act, I was really enjoying this movie. I have to believe that there's a longer version of the creator. I wouldn't be surprised if there's another 30 or 60 minutes of film that would have given more story and emotional buildup and probably a very different take on that final act. So overall, it's a mixed bag for me. The Creator is a stunning and topically interesting film, though it unfortunately botches the landing of its final act and that maybe doesn't sink the whole film, but definitely took the shine off of it for me. But I would love to hear from you. 
Post in the comments, what do you think of the creator? Did you love the movie? Did you like the movie? Did you hate the movie? Post in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. This has been the Fanboy Cantina.